Warning, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Proceed at your own risk. Black Medic, known by its Latin name as Mediacago lupulina, this member of the pea family is either an annual or a short-lived perennial that sprawls out along the ground from a foot to a foot and a half in length. The snail plant of Eurasia can now be found throughout much of North America in roadsides, waste places, meadows, and cultivated beds. The flowers can be observed from March to December and are yellow, irregular, and grow in small flower heads that will eventually turn into fruit clusters of small, one-seeded black spirally coiled pods. The plant has alternate leaves that are divided into three leaflets, which are entire or finely toothed. The leaflets are tipped with a short bristle, and they have a long leaf stalk. The stem is sprawling and downy, and the root is deeply rooted. The seeds of Mediacago lupulina is said to contain trypsin inhibitors. These can interfere with certain enzymes that help in the digestion of proteins, but could possibly be destroyed if the seed is sprouted first. It should also be noted that other Mediacagos, such as alfalfa, contain an amino acid, l cannabinine which can cause abnormal blood cell counts, the enlargement of the spleen, and possibly a recurrence in lupus in those who suffer from the disease. Alfalfa also contains estrogenic components, so it's not recommended for pregnant women or children. The estrogenic components will also increase the clotting ability of your blood, which will decrease the effectiveness of drugs such as warfarin or coumadin. From summer to fall, you could harvest the seeds and the leaves. The seeds were lightly roasted and then eaten out of hand or ground into a flour. The leaves are a bit chewy and they were cooked as a pot herb. Medicinally, aqueous extracts of the plant have antibacterial properties against microorganisms and the plant is mildly laxative. As for the plant's other uses, it was used as a fodder plant for grazing animals. Well guys, that's all for another video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have, please like, subscribe, and share. You can also follow me on social media. Now keep your eyes open for my next upcoming series on poncho tarp shelters. And until then, I hope to see you on the trail.